Astro Sports. Dave Nielsen is our fantasy man. Nick Jacobs is our dreamboat of a man. <laughs> Something like that. Wow. Anyway, here to talk Division wow. Two football and talk playoffs now. But first, uh, question of the day here, Nicholas. Uh, yeah. Which rivalry game are you going to be watching this weekend? Uh, well, probably the Chiefs and the Raiders and obviously the Ohio State versus, you know, Michigan. Michigan, game. they're playing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, KU, Kansas State, not nah. going to be watching that game? No. Nah. You're a Missouri guy, aren't you? No. Nah. What are you? I am a top 25 guy. Oh, you're a top 25 guy. <laughs> yes. One of those yeah. humans. Yeah. Oh, I that's, see. That's, that's how see. I roll. What about Park Hill Ray Peck tonight? That's a rivalry game. Uh, no, it won't be this year whenever Derek Washington oh, makes ooh. reservations for six about 12 times uh, in the game. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. I yeah. see. That'd yeah. be touchdowns? Yes. Six? Okay. Yahtzee. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it's Missouri Western and Midwestern mm -hmm. State this week. Right. Those are two teams, right? They are, and they are playing one another. Yes, number uh, four, and number five. Uh, what are the what are the colors for Midwestern State? It's not like gold and black or anything, no. is it? Okay. No. So we can tell them apart. Yes. Good. All right. Uh, that loss to Washburn last week from Mo West, though, hurt them. It it hurt them because they were originally number three, and they were going to play a game at home. And instead, since they lost sixteen to three to Washburn, they are going to be number five and have to travel to Texas this weekend against the Lone Star Conference team. And this is their first playoff appearance. They are undefeated. Huh? How about that? Zero what? and zero. No, there undefeated. You go. So on one, two. Yeah. And they are averaging about 27 points on offense. They're averaging 19 giving up in defense. Last week they had 46 passing attempts. Apparently they wanted to get the kinks out of their passing game, I hope, because they need to be running the ball. Because now you're in the playoffs, you need to be punching it between the tackles. And they have the running back in the workhorse, Jeremiah White, to do it. They went over 1,000 yards again for second time, which is huge for them because the Griffins haven't had that since 93 with Des Douglas. And the uh, passing-wise, I, I don't know what's happened to this team. Michael Landis used to be taking it, and then they throw in Burton and throws off Landis. And now they just need to run this ball against Midwestern Midwest, because they have a two-headed quarterback. And That's scary. A, they do. <laughs> Man. They have two quarterbacks that they throw in just like Burton and Landis. They have the one that's a rusher and mm -hmm. then they have the one that's the passer. And if you shut those two down, it's game over for Midwest. You'd figure that story being like uh, ESPN or something <laughs> like that or like Guinness, you know? Uh, probably, probably not. It's yeah. Division Two. Division yeah, One, probably. You know, yeah, you know, maybe uh -huh. you, you make the NFL and we'll hear about it. Yeah, maybe. All right, uh, as for Northwest, they right. await the winner of this game. They do. Uh, what did Northwest do to Mo West during the season? They beat them in a close game, 24 to 21, and because of that, or yes, and because of that, they have first round bye, mm -hmm. and they are going to do some monster things this year because they will be making their reservations. So you this can, could be a close game. No, if the two meet in the playoffs. Probably not because Why Northwest is, is a completely different team from last time, and they will stick it to them because they have found a new dimension with Sheldon Cook as their running back and they have got their offensive line, the interior together. They have gelled together. They're continuing to do so. The defensive line is what is setting them apart. Missouri Western starting to have some injuries on an offensive line, and their D-line has accounted for 18 of their 34 sacks this year, and they have, or 18 of their 31 sacks, and 11 of their 15 quarterback hurries have been because of the Northwest defensive line. They get Xavier Oman back next week. They get their secondary, those three guys we talked about, mm -hmm. Walmack, Termini, Pratt. They get them back for sure. They're going to be healthy. Northwest is not a team to face right now. At any point? A anybody. Okay. Anybody. All right. Uh, well, as for Pitt State, uh, no playoffs, but do, they do no. get the uh, Mineral Water Bowl to be right. played up at uh, Excelsior Springs. Mm -hmm. Take it on Bemidji State. Yes. Were the Gorillas playoff caliber? Should they, they have were. been there? Both of those teams that are playing in the Mineral Bowl work playoff caliber, and the fact you can see them in Excelsior Springs is something that you need to do on December 2nd at do 1 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> because they have uh, two top 25 teams in this for the first time in the Mineral Bowl's history, which has only been since 2000. But, right. you know, still, that's, that's nice. Uh, because Pitt is number 14, Bemidji State yeah. is number 23, and both schools just missed the playoffs because – Bemidji State actually won their title, but they were beat out by Winona State because of strength of schedule. Even though they beat Winona State 28 to 7, they should really be in the playoffs, both these teams, but unfortunately they're not. Jermaine Race is the man we need to talk about last week against Central Missouri. 49 carries, 309 yards, they won 35 to 30. And the big thing about it is, is he now has 6,809 yards rushing, 156 shy of Brian Shea for Division II record all time. And he has 103 rushing touchdowns in his career right now. Give him the Harlan Hill, you know. You know, that's a funny story because he is one of the 24 finalists for it right now in the region. Uh, 24 finalists. 24 finalists right now. They'll bump it down to eight. 
and then he w he should be in the top eight. That's a lot of. Are you a finalist? That's a, that's a lot of guys. <laughs> uh, you know, we we did talk about it, but yeah. I said I had bad knees and I couldn't okay. fly I down see. there. I see. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the playoff bracket. Uh, which of these mm -hmm. teams we're about to see right here would give Northwest the uh, the biggest trouble should they meet up in second round, third round of the playoffs? Take a look at these teams right here. Put the graphic on. You are very agitated, man. Yeah, I am. I'm I'm an angry guy, especially on Fridays. <laughs> see. <laughs> okay. Well, if you take a look at our region, there the team that probably will, I would have to say, would be Chadron State because they are the only thing that can even come close to Northwest, but still, they should lose by at least 17 because of Northwest. <laughs> lose by at least 17? <laughs> yes. Nobody in this region also stands a chance against Northwest. That's not a state. random number whatsoever. You didn't just pull that out of the air. I did. I pulled okay. it out of my hat. Okay. You know, threw a guess. There Good. we went. Good. Uh, something you've been immune to for what reason I have no idea is six questions. Mm. Not, so, not so much anymore. Okay. We're doing six questions with you. That's cool. Okay. I get the dings and buzzes. Yeah, you do. You get the dings and buzzes. Mm. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, question number one for mm -hmm. Nick Jacobs doing six questions. Should Pitt State be in the playoffs? Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, they should be number six overall, but unfortunately, strength of schedule hurt them this year because of the format, and they do not have a defense that probably would have stopped a lot of people. That's a ding. One for one so far. Okay, cool. Question number two, uh, will Mo West win in the first round? They will win against Midwestern because a lot of people are underestimating them. A lot of people underestimated Northwest last year. They won the national championship. That's incorrect. They're saying Midwestern State's going to win. That, that's fine. I mean, do we have John Clayburg back there running that? Uh, I don't running know for his Texas boys? Uh, no, I'm yeah, kidding. That's true. No. All right, uh, question number three, uh, can you pronounce Pitt State's opponent? Bumaji State? No. Bemidji State. Okay, you know Bemidji what? Bemidji State, You know come what? On. It's so tricky, man, because it's got the J and the I like Vegeta. It's very, very, very <laughs> yeah, hard. It's, it's very hard. Yeah, <laughs> just like Vegeta. All right, question number four. Uh, mm. Why is Emporia State's coach retiring? Dave Weimers, uh, past six years, 36, 32. They had an MIAA title in there, in didn't they? In 2003, they shared it with, like, what, five other teams? Just Is he just tired? Didn't want to do it anymore? Yeah, 36. Is he forced out, perhaps? I'm... I'm not saying any more about this, man. All right, good. Question number five. Buzz him for that. Uh, Ohio <laughs> State or Michigan? I am going to go Ohio State. Oh, yeah. That's incorrect. It's going to be Michigan. Well, that, that's fine. You can say Shim that. Beckler factor. All, all I got to say is Ball State, okay? What does that mean? It was a lot closer than it should have been against Ball State in Michigan. Oh, okay. That's all I really need to say on that. Okay. Ohio State's had a couple close games this year. Okay. Ohio okay. State. That's where I'm going. Question number six. Uh, will Northwest win it all? They will play game for the title in Alabama, and more than likely, they will win. Okay, before you even answered, I think you had a buzz there. And that's cool. <laughs> no, Bemidji State's going to win it all. Okay. All right. Then maybe, after, maybe yeah, I and everybody else will be able to pronounce their name right yes, and stop calling BSU. The, they're going to win the Mineral Water Bowl. Okay. And then they're going to just jump right into the playoffs. Wow. They're going to be so I mean, impressive. What, what was I, two and six? Yeah. We're cutting okay. you off. Good. Nick, thanks very much. All right, even more to come on the talk like a... Game of the week.